Greetings, Poké fans. Michael here. Welcome to part six of my Indigo Disc playthrough. I have just completed the Elite Four. And now I'm here to take on Emo Kieran, my glorious team that I'm very proud of. A couple of them ended up uh, the higher level than I planned, but that just is sometimes how the cookie crumbles. God, Dots is almost level 100. <laughs> oh, Rainbow is a level 100. When did that happen? <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> that's that's insane. Uh, I don't want to switch it now, though. I've EV trained them. I don't feel like switching them. It's just not what I want to do. Anyways, it's fine. If one of them's, a couple of them are level 100, what's the big deal, you know? Ready to sign up for your official match? You're Michael. Yes, let me get your championship match set up. This will take just a moment. So Michael, you said you and Karen are friends, right? Well, sort of. No need to be shy about it. Friends drama is just part of life at your age. At my age. Here's the Dracer's take. I liked Kieran better when his hair was down. He used to be this quiet little guy, trembled like a leaf, had all the spine of a wimpod. He'd hide behind Carmen if you so much as breathed too loud. But I'll tell you what, came to Pokemon battling, I never saw so much joy in anyone's eyes as in his. Then out of nowhere, changed. Now he's relentless, pushes himself, pushes everyone around him. Nothing good's gonna come of this. Someone's gotta snap him out of it. I tried, but I couldn't do it. As I got soft from the lazy life. <laughs> <laughs> so now I guess it falls to you. Sorry, bud. Sorry to keep you waiting. Everything's ready. Are ready to battle Kieran, the BB League champion? Let's do this and see how much I can do without using my level 100s. They weren't level 100 before. They just grew so fast the last 10. Let's do this. Is this gonna happen at sunset? Bing, bong, bong, bing. This is an official Brazilian butt lift announcement. A champion match is about to begin at the battle court near the entrance to the academy. Let's do this. Who knows what he's gonna ru run with? I mean, he's gonna have Hydrapple. Diplin was his ace before. Spooky. Two little boys kept me waiting. Work so hard for a chance to show you what I can really do, Michael. Everything into studying, making my Pokemon stronger. Why is the cutscene lagging? I crushed the Elite Four and became champion. All of that hard work, all of it. All of it was just so that I could beat you right here, right now! Whoa. Let's do this, buddy. Okay. Um. Oh, guitar! Dang it, his weather wins. How do I handle this? I'm gonna fake out the Politoed, and I'm just gonna hard switch Cleric because I want my weather back. Let's go into Sky Arrow, and then maybe I can parting shot and then bring in, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, you're not gonna water blast me. Oh boy. Okay, how do you like that? See how hard I've trained? Not like the kid you battled in Kitakami, huh? Okay. Politoed flinches and can't move. I would like to parting shot, but I'm not sure I'm fast enough. So I think I just have to hard switch here. And Sky Arrow, I think I want the pure steel. And I'm gonna Dragon Pulse Dragonite. I want the pure steel so I'm more protected from the Dragonite. And it's just, there's a Dragonite on the field. I know he's gonna have that high Drapple, so. I wanna resist Dragon, not be weak to it. Now, come on. Please hit Sky Arrow. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, it took that well, but it probably has multi-scale. Ah, wowzers. Doesn't matter if the tight matchups work out for you, though. I'll still win. Aha, breaking swipe. I'll take that stamina boost. Water type weather ball. Oh wait, no, it's ice now. Oh, look at that. All right, now Aurora Veil. And I'm gonna Dragon Pulse Dragonite. I, I have that electric move. I've, I've not used it once. Snapped out, okay. Dragon Pulse. 
There we go. All right, one down. Oh, he has an incineroar. Okay. Okay. I see what they did here. How do I want to handle it? I want to switch Cleric because Cleric just doesn't do much. I'm going to switch into my own incineroar. No, no, no. I don't want to do that because Polytoad's still on the field. Let's go. Mm. Maybe I don't switch yet. Maybe I just Dazzle and Gleam. And I'm gonna body press the Incineroar. I'm at plus two defense. Dazzling Gleam's neutral, okay. Nice! It's just using Psychic. Does it not have a water type move? All right, I guess I'll Icy Wind at this time, but I feel like body press can KO the Porygon. Dude, why is Icy Wind missing so much? Jeez. I can't even see the Porygon. <laughs> okay, there goes Cleric. That's fine. My God, our Chaladon is so good. <laughs> I, I body press on the stamina Pokemon is so nasty. And it just got stronger. Such a good ability. Oh my God. All right, let's go. Let's go Imperator. We'll intimidate whatever comes in. Grimmsnarl. The Politoed is proving to not really be much of a threat, so I'm just gonna fake out the Grimmsnarl and Flash Cannon it. <laughs> I was right, it isn't much of a threat. No moves for Grimmsnarl. Flash Cannon. Sit down, snow stopped, okay. Just go down already. How are you still standing after everything I've thrown at you? After I've thrown everything I have at you. Okay. There's the Hydrapple. Oh, this is actually my first time seeing one that's red. He's definitely gonna Terrastalize it. I don't know into what, but Dragon Pulse is either super effective or neutral. Unless he changes it completely. I'm gonna, I hit knock off with Incineroar just to be safe. I don't need the old me anymore. I've changed. I'll show you I can change again. Ooh. Was it dragon? Fighting. Well, that's not good for my Archaladon, I'll say it. Holy crap. Assault vest. Okay, didn't go for Terra Blast. That could have been way worse. All right, well, um, let's KO this thing. I think Body Press is my strongest move now. <laughs> there we go. Man, our Chaladon is so good. I think this thing could be a real competitive threat. I don't know, I don't know things, but man. That little frog stuck around the whole time, but he's done now. Good battle for me. I only lost one Pokemon and I didn't use my uh, my now level 100s. <laughs> oh, look at his face. I didn't use my now level 100s once. What? Uh huh? Oh. What? He actually lost? Let's go, guys. No, why? This wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, no, 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 no! Way to go, both of you. That was awesome. Oh, honestly, Crispin, read the room, would you? Wait, wait, Drayton. Good match, you two. Bad about the outcome, though, huh? X champion. Oh, that was nasty. Look at you, buddy. Way to go. Guess we got a new BB League champion. Academy's got a prize for people like you. Make it all the way to being a champion. Here, all yours. Oh, all right, cool. Hey, Kieran. 
This may not mean much coming from a guy who couldn't beat you, but... We should go back to having fun with all this. I get that burning desire to win. I mean, who doesn't like winning? Just don't let that desire burn you to a crisp. Hard to watch. Come on. Let's all go and... In... Next... Time. Come again. Next time for sure, I'll, I'll win. Next time, I'll win. Say something or say nothing. Ooh. I'm gonna say something. Michael, I... Aw. Woof. Him, if we might uh, interrupt. Well, first, of course, we want to offer Michael congratulations for becoming champion. Really, this is an amazing achievement, something that should be celebrated. But with the way things are now, I'm sorry to say that it does, well, complicate matters. We're having a bit of a hard time knowing how we ought to proceed. Proceed with what? Well, think about it for a moment, would you? Michael is our champion, then that means he's head of the league club, but he's an exchange student. What is our long-term plan here if he doesn't stick around? There's so many particulars to sort out. Oh, uh, yeah. Of course, if Kieran rejoins the Elite Four after having lost the rank of champion, that would push Crispin out of our ranks. Wait, what? Me? That's bad, isn't it? I'd like to hear from Kieran himself what he would like to do next. Kieran, bing, bong, bong, bing. This is an announcement from the following students. Even League Champion Kieran, Top Elite Four member Drayton, Carmen of Class 3 2, Michael, our exchange student, Miss Briar, and some guests would like to see you. Please proceed to Classroom 1 4 as soon as possible. Oh, alright. What could that be about? That's really not the time. EV League Champion Kieran, huh? They're gonna need to update that. <laughs> he really is putting salt in the wound. Drayton, could you seriously not right now? It's just not right and certainly not kind. Well, we shouldn't leave Miss Briar hanging or we'll never hear the end of it. Go on ahead, Michael. We'll meet you there. Make sure Kieran comes too, even if I gotta carry him. Okay, that was interesting. I was kind of expecting something crazier to happen, but I guess maybe that's happening later? I was not expecting the team to end up with any level 100s, but here we are. Is there a place to heal my squad here? Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, hey there, Michael. What brings you back up here? I could ask you the same. I mean, I'm just enjoying the ocean breeze, staring at the battle court, hoping for an interesting match to start up for something. Dude, there was just one. I was so ghoul. I was so, I was so ghoul. I was so good and cool. Was that Pokedex? Show me once you filled it in a bit. Ah, okay. So he's who I talk to once I complete my Pokedex, which I am still significantly far from. One, four. Here we are, Miss B. Thank you all for coming. I'm pleased to inform you that some very special guests are here to see you today. They left for a tour of the school mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon enough. In time, I'll fill you all, all in on the situation. Please have a seat. Don't mind if I do. These knees are crinking. Drayton, you're like 15. <laughs> hey, she, she understands. Ah, Michael. I heard you were busy battling your way up the BB League. I think you've made it as far as champion. What a dazzling accomplishment. Uh, thank you so much. Sorry, Miss Briar, but could we leave all that for another time? What's this thing you wanted to tell us about? Um, my apologies, that was insensitive of me. Let me get straight to today's topic then. I want all of you here to join me on an expedition to the secluded and mysterious Area Zero. Area Zero? That's that place in Paldea you wanted to visit, right? You got permission? My main goals are to investigate the terrestrial phenomena and to gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. But to be honest, I also have one more ambition for this trip. Hoping that we can find Terrapagos, the legendary Pokemon slumbering in Area Zero. Terrapagos? A legendary Pokemon? Rather exciting idea, isn't it? Gita! Girl, what you doing here? Riku? There you are, Gita. I was just getting the kids up to speed. I do apologize for my tardiness. Miss Gita! Mm hmm? Champion Michael, I certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Of course, you must be participating in the student exchange program. Michael just got crowned our new BB League champion, too. Your talent is as brilliant as always, I see. Truly a wonderful thing. We'll be going along, and I suppose that bodes well. Is it all right if I explain the situation to the children, Briar? By all means. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gita. I am the chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Paldea. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the great crater at the center of Paldea. Sorry, I feel like I have something in my eye. Uh, once that research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries, but also danger. Generally speaking, the area is off limits even for research. That being said, recently we've had to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokemon could escape the area. There's a clear need for further research, quickly. But at our Pokemon League, we've had trouble finding capable personnel, not to mention time, to study Area Zero. So, 
reached out to me as I've been requesting access to the area for some, quite some time now. I apologize that we are not better equipped to deal with this ourselves. Blueberry Academy has a wealth of highly skilled trainers with well-trained Pokemon. And with Champion Michael also on the team, I know I could safely initiate a new expedition. This is entirely voluntary, of course, but it would be very reassuring to have you with us. What do you say? Will you join our little team as we explore Area Zero? I'm so in! Splendid. Well said, Champion Michael. Uh, well, I think it's already decided that I'm going. Your support will be very useful as always, Carmen. I appreciate having you on board. Sorry, I'm gonna pass on this one. League Club's a whole mess right now. We need my steady hand on the wheel here. <laughs> sure, you just can't be bothered to travel all the way to Paldea, can you? <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> He's amazing. I'm curious what our mighty ex champions think in the. I'm going. There's a legendary Pokemon there. I want to fight it. Catch it. This time, I won't let this chance go. Interesting. Then it's decided. It's too bad that Drayton won't be coming, won't be joining us, but it seems that the team will consist of Carmen, Kieran, Michael, and myself. You have my thanks for your my blah, blah, blah. You have my thanks for your help on this matter. I look forward to the great findings you will no doubt bring back. I am grateful for the opportunity, Gita. Leave it to me. My dream of exploring Area Zero is finally becoming a reality. Now time to prepare. Let's meet by the bridge at the Academy entrance as soon as we're ready. Her eyes are so spooky. Like I feel like she's gonna turn on us at some point. I hope you're not in a hurry to leave, Champion Michael. Oh, it has been a while, Champion Michael. Hey, you kiddo. Freak is here too, at your service. Not gonna lie, I never dreamed we'd be running into you. I see that you are putting your skills to good use and living up to your title as Paltea Champion, even while abroad. I'm doing my best. Ah, indeed, I would expect nothing less from a talented trainer such as yourself. Yeah, definitely got talent. Lots of talent. But not enough to get you off the hook. Excuse me? <laughs> you went into the Great Crater without the League's permission, didn't you? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't look in my boxes. Don't think you're not going to get a scolding for that. That's what champions do? What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> you can't just go breaking rules with willy nilly. <laughs> Calm down, Rika. No harm came to him after all. Besides, we have good reason to believe that all Paldea would have been at risk if Champion Michael here hadn't ventured into Area Zero. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's true, but... Fine, let's have the hook this one time. You'd better thank the boss for stepping in. Don't think poorly of Rika. She's just worried for you. Now then, Champion Michael, this time you'll be heading to Area Zero with official League permission. Only a handful of people know about the incident involving the time machine. However, taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I have elected to inform Miss Briar of what happened, obfuscating certain details. Speaking of, boss, didn't you say you had something to give to that Briar person? Yes, yes I did, I'd forgotten about that. Champion Michael, would you be so kind as to take this for me? The Indigo Disc? It's a thing! Huh, I was expecting it to, that was just, I thought that was just a nickname for Terrapagos. What is that anyway, a TM or something? It's a disc that was sent by an Area Zero research to an investor some time ago. I had my investigation team look into it. It is certainly not a TM, nor is it a mere tool for storing data. Honestly, I have no idea as to its true purpose, but I assume it has to do with Area Zero. I figure that since you're heading to Area Zero, I might as well ask you to investigate the purpose of this disc while you're there. Goodness. While he's there, huh? Going to pick up some potato salad on the way back, too? I do ask that you return the disc to me if you end up not finding a use for it. There's still much we do not know about Area Zero. I know you've already been to its depths, but please exercise some caution while dealing with the environment and Pokemon there. As a champion, it falls on you to protect and guide those accompanying you. Wish I could go with you, kiddo, but I got my own work to do. Do your best down there. Don't push yourself too hard, you hear? Now please, excuse us. All right, let's go. I wanna go to the terrarium to heal my Pokemon. <laughs> That's, I wanna do that first. I don't know if anybody's done that. And then we will go. And we will go into Area Zero and find some cool stuff, I hope. All righty, I'm excited. I haven't been Area Zero in a long time. I know what it's like. I know what's in there, but I wanna see the new stuff. Shall we? Are you ready to travel to Area Zero, Michael? Yes, I am. Splendid, we're finally ready to set off then. Are you two feeling all right? Well enough to travel at least? Well, I'm, I'm fine anyway. Yeah, me too. Had time to calm down. Oh, well, that's good. Fine, you know what I have to do now. Find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero, no matter what it takes. That's the spirit, Kieran! <laughs> All right then, shall we? 
just hop right on a flight from, I don't know. Here we are. In it, I'm, I'm finally here. Area Zero, the place I've dreamed about for years. Oh, this is incredible. Wowzers. <laughs> She's laughing at him. So you've been here before, right, Michael? Yeah, with my friends. And a lot of times after that, with John, who is my friend. Ah, yes! Yeah, you scared me! Gotta see you're too big to come popping out like that or watch a Madon. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so you came here with Michael back then too, huh? Oh, you must be that Pokemon that was reportedly first discovered in Area Zero. Very intrigued by the specimen, but alas, that's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the deepest depths of Area Zero and see what's even deeper. What do you mean, like, deeper down than the Zero Lab? He's mentioned in his writings that he fell from the depths to someplace even deeper. Wait, hold on, doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he could get? Yes, it's quite curious, isn't it? However, Heath also wrote that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down there. His writings are to be believed, there must be an entire uncharted space below, below Area Zero. Well, either way, we should start by making the Zero Lab, making for the Zero Lab down in the depths. Take the lead, Michael. Let's ride. Am I allowed to ride? Do I have to walk? Ah, they're gone. Okay, we're just gonna eat. <laughs> I'm just, I'm glad they're not making me walk down again like they did uh, the main story quest. They're like, lead the way, Michael. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Whoa, this place is insane. It reminds me of the crystal pool. This is the zero lab, I take it? The structure's exterior matches Gita's ex description at least. This is the deepest point in area zero. Right. Well, yes and no. This is the deepest point that the Area Zero expedition managed to reach long ago. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of this laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. However, where I want to go is even deeper than that. So you're saying we should head inside the Zero Lab? Gate's closed, though. Hmm. No, you're right. What are we doing now, Michael? You've been here before, right? We need to use the panel. Mazars, this feels like a spy movie or something. Way cool. He's smiling again. What? I didn't say anything. Aw. Well then, can we count on you to unlock the gate, Michael? Uh, yes, because I am an expert in coding and stuff. Access revoked due to prolonged inactivity. Oh, what's the matter? Something wrong with it? Hm. Yep, something's wrong with it. Indigo disc detected. Oh. It's talking! Insert indigo disc for greater access privileges. Let's do it. Oh, Gina gave you a mysterious sign before we departed, did she? That, you think that's it? Oh, how fun! Go on, Michael, do it! You have my permission! <laughs> Carmen and Drayton are the best characters in the DLC. Okay, where are we going? Area Zero Under Depths. Get that, it opened! It's head in. All right, now what? Always good to rest one's head. Huh? It's way too dark in here, I just smacked my head on something! <laughs> Cause you're just running around without any idea where you're going. Well, Kiki, I like someone's finally breaking out of their funk, huh? Shut it. Where's Miss Briar anyway? Busy rummaging through like a whole stack of documents over there. Aren't those someone's private photos and stuff? I shouldn't be looking at all that. Oh, they're dead now. So it's archeology span discoveries. Huh, you're awfully considered all of a sudden. Miss Briar, look, an elevator. Maybe you can take us further down. You wanted to go down, right? Down? You say? <laughs> My Juju, this elevator last time reached the mysterious room I mentioned earlier. I feel like I'm, I feel like I want to hide things from her, but like, I feel like she, she shouldn't be made aware of the time machine, but alas, progression must occur. Wonderful, this elevator just keeps going further and further down. That's what elevators do. <laughs> you know, it's moving pretty fast, actually. It almost feels like I'm floating. Hey, everyone, that panel we used to unlock the gate, didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? Imagine it, yeah, something about an elevator being redirected, right? As far as I know, there's only one elevator inside the Zero Lab, so the panel must have been referring to the elevator we're currently inside. So where exactly is this thing taking us? Ho 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 where indeed? Everyone is remarkably calm about this. I'm scared, I'll say it. Oh my goodness! So what, are we under Area Zero or something? Yes, according to my data, our current position is far deeper than where we last were. Could the elevator have taken us even further down than its previous destination? How is there air down here? Man, Area Zero is already a lot to take in. Anyone thinks gonna surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. Hey. What's all this stuff? Oh. Oh! What are desks doing down here? Wait, this is... This is a report written by the esteemed Professor Sada. A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero, and there slumbers Terrapagos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. 
Its body has become crystal, protecting it from hostile outsiders. It appears that rousing it will take some time. In this cavern, I have witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon occurring in a way that I've never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I have dubbed this tarot type the stellar type for now. Could Terrapagos' influence be at play? Terrapagos is the hidden treasure of Area Zero? And it's slumbering in the form of a crystal? And what is a, about stellar tarot type? I am really curious about the mechanics of that. Brilliant, absolutely marvelous. I think there was so much that Heath didn't write about. These documents are a veritable treasure trove. We've only just begun our expedition. I don't know how she can get so excited in a bizarre place like this. Generic Pokemon Terrapagos. That's the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Yeah, that, that's the third time someone has said that in the last minute. Come on, let's hurry up and go further in. Still haven't gotten my fill of these documents, but okay, let's go. It would be best to discover the truth with our own eyes after all. Is this? It's like a crystal trying to be a flower. It's completely blocked up the path. Yeah, we're not going any further with this in the way. What about Watchamadon, that Pokemon you ride on? Couldn't it smash through? I'm not so sure. Hold on, hold on, please, hold on. She's crazy. It's quite likely a manifestation of pure terrestrial energy. We have no idea what might happen if we try to destroy it with brute force. Okay, so what do we do then? Oh, hello. That sparkle's different. There are Pokemon all the way down here? What's going on with this one? It seems to be charged with some kind of strange energy. Hey, get back! You know you're no good in battle, Miss Briar! Kiki, no, Michael, you should handle this. Yeah, what's going on? Looks like I'm not doing double battles anymore. Oh, there it is. What on earth is that energy? It it couldn't be! Yeah, it, it is. Um. Okay, rock slide. It still resists flare blitz. Ooh, okay. That was enough to break it. Oh, darn, it was faster. Oh, wait, but I intimidated it. All right. Weird. Does it give the terrestrial boost to every move? Knocking out that sparkling Pokemon made the crystal flower disappear. Just like in that report we found earlier. What we just witnessed was a Pokemon wielding the powers of each and every type. It means it must have had the stellar Terra type. Uh, so what's all that mean? Wait, was that supposed to be the so-called hidden treasure we're looking for? Can't say for certain, but no, I don't think so. Professor's notes said the hidden treasure of Area Zero is slumbering in crystal form. Well, the Glamora you fought off doesn't fully fit that description, so I don't think it's the Pokemon the Professor called Terrapagos. Well, the only way to know if it was hidden treasure or not is to keep going. Come on. Maybe it, like, maybe the Pokemon remains defensively the same? 3,100 LP, jeez. I don't know. Gets the stab boost from everything? I'm so confused as, how to, how, as to how that works. Ooh, don't fall. Stellar Terra shards. Arbinks, Glimmet. Pretty standard crystal cave Pokemon. TM over here. Whoa! Hello! I bet they were gonna say we need to find the Pokemon to beat and I found it without talking to them. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Dragon Pulse is still super effective. This is normal type matchup stuff. I, I feel like, is this, is this busted? Is like, is Stellar Terra type the only Terra type we're gonna see from now on in competitive play? If it's just like a power boost to all your moves? That Pokemon's called Coridon, right? Boy, it really can jump. We're on a roll, let's keep on moving. All right, deeper and deeper we go. Like we got another one to find. Up here? Oh no, it's Sandy Shacks. Maybe the boost is less? Would that make sense? You know, like maybe it's 1.3 instead of 1.5. Oh, the tree. It's so pretty. Yeah, ga 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 ga. Wait, I, oh my God, I can't believe it took me this long to notice. There's a little Terrapagos on their head. They're gonna tell me the door is open. This, this is a little tedious. It's fun to poke around, but it's, there's not like anything crazy, you know? My Terra Orb, I think it's reacting to something. Right, mine is too. I'm picking up a truly astounding level of terrestrial energy. It seems to be coming from in there. We finally at the finish line? The hidden treasure. Hey, where do you think you're going? Can't wait another second. The truth is a Scarlet Book. What is this place? The vibes here are on a totally different level. You're right, girl. The vibes, they're just off. The hidden treasure, where is it? There, Kieran up ahead. There's something among those pillars. Is that it? It's head? Stones, the hidden treasure. You know what? I just need to check something. I can get the hidden treasure of Area Zero. I can finally beat Michael. Kiki, you're still going on about that nonsense? Shut it, sis. I class everything I've ever wanted. He's got strong Pokemon. He can go anywhere he wants. He can be friends with anyone. I loved Ogre Pond since forever ago, but even Ogre Pond chose him over me. Man, I would have let him have it. 
But Kiki, you did your best too. I mean, you, sis. You were being all nasty toward him at first, but then boom, you were like his best friend in no time. I, well, got nothing. I worked so hard. And for what? I still lost in the end. This, this is all I have left now. Found it. This crystal is definitely what we're looking for. She is not listening. Go on, Kieran. Pull with everything you've got. Show us the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Wait, what's going to happen? Oh, okay. There's no doubting it. This crystal must be Terrapagos. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I knew that's what it looked like, but that transition was so like, a da pop. <laughs> oh, it's like a baby. No. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> I did not foresee that! He just whipped out the Master Ball like that! That was crazy! That was Terrapagos. You caught it, right? Finally. Very well done, Kieran! The fact that you brought along a Master Ball tells me you were well prepared for this. Now I can study Terrapagos whenever I want. But there's no time like the present. Think you could give us a little demonstration of Terrapagos' power right now? Murder, Michael. I'm also itching to see what Terrapagos can do. Get ready so when we so we can start. What type is this thing? Just to be safe, we'll start with Cleric. I get snow down in the bottom of the, the earth. Journey to the center of the earth. I can't believe he just whipped out the Master Ball like that. That was nuts. This time I'll definitely beat you, Michael. 1v1 this time? Go, Terrapagos. Show Michael what you're made of. Huh? Oh, there it is. I don't know how any of this works. So this is the hidden treasure's true form. With this, I can win for sure. All right, we're set up for success for a bit now. Earth power, all right. Blizzard, what does this do? What? What? It's distorting type. What just happened? What just happened? I'm I'm so confused. It's distorting type matchups. Is it? Does it make it so it resists every hit? Let's try syrup bomb. Oh, okay, that was not not very effective. Let's try a fickle beam. Going all out! Oh, that's what happens when the power doubles. Okay. Terrapagos' power should be far greater than this. Could it be we're missing something? I I am really looking forward to reading how this works. Does it does Terra Shift maybe like make its matchups opposite? All right, took care of that. Man, okay, I was worried at first that it was just gonna resist all hits. Why? I thought if I just had Terrapagos, if I had the hidden treasure of Area Zero, it made me stronger. I thought it would let me beat Michael. Too bad, boy. I'm a Pokemon master. Yeah, that's enough. It's time to stop this. No, something's not right. Its terrestrial energy output is far too low. Not to mention the fact that it looks different from the illustration in the Scarlet Book. So Tarapkos isn't the hidden treasure of Area Zero? I'm sure it is. We must be missing something, a way to transform it into the treasure. Of course, Tarapkos is made of terrestrial energy. Karen, you must terrestrialize Tarapkos. My hunch is correct, Ter Terrapagos will resonate with the energy from your Terra Orb, and the hidden treasure will finally reveal its true brilliance. All right, how hard is this gonna be? Oh boy, oh man. What do we do? Are we gonna die? She's really enjoying this. Whoa. It's got itself on his head. Oh my gosh. What just happened? Cried on protected Kieran. Things are getting out of hand, Kiki. Oh, okay. 
Come back to Rapagos! It's not working. Oh, damn! Okay. Um. Raid time. This energy output is going haywire. We're all in serious danger if we can't bring it under control. I'm sorry, kids, but please, you need to stop Terrapagos. Come on, Kiki. Get your butt in here. No, this wasn't supposed to happen. This is all my fault. Oh, hospitality. <laughs> Amazing. All right, well. Let's Aurora Veil us both. Terra Star Storm? Alrighty, that's not great. Oh my God, that did absolutely nothing. It's using a barrier to reduce damage. In that case, terrestrializing your Pokemon might help. All right, let's go to Sky Arrow then. Hopefully this is, oh, thank you. That's so nice of you. Unless this hits both of us, in which case it doesn't matter. Okay, I took that well. Stamina boost, thank you. Oh, I have to, oh yeah. All right, Um, right, let's try a body press. That did a chunk. Oh no! Oh, it missed, are you serious? I should have remembered that it knew that. Come on, buddy. Oh, Rage Powder, the Earth Power, ah, thank you. Oh, that was so close. Oh wait, no it wasn't, that, that did it, okay. Sword Terrestrial Energy. Oh, I see how it is. That's rude. Hit me. Uh-oh. Well, now I'm alone. Oh no, my sentence just knocked out. This isn't good, it's just too strong. Karen! <laughs> Karen! <laughs> Use the power of Jurassic Phenomenon to change its type. To what? <laughs> Please help me, KK. It's no good, I'm useless. You're not useless, it's just I'm a prodigy. Did I lose all, I lost all my defense boost. That's lame. Not good. Okay, helpful. Body press should do more now. No, now it resists it. This is fine, this is fine. Now Michael terrestrialize your Pokemon so it shines once more. I think I should bring something else in to be perfectly honest. Resists fighting. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. I can bring something else in. Aurora Veil vale wore off. So let's set it back up. <laughs> wow. All right. I am not terrestrializing this thing because I'm not an idiot. I'm not turning it into an electric type. That'd be dumb. What does Terra Star Storm even do? All right, I want to switch to something that's actually got the power, and that's you. All right, really switching around here. Uh, that does more than I would choose, but I think I have the power to knock this out, knock this, knock this section out in one go. Yeah. 
You can't be serious. How do you know that? Oh, that actually didn't do anything. That sucks. That's actually super bad. Please hit. Son of a basket. All right, well, considering that we're in uh, severe danger, I'm just gonna full restore. I'd rather not have to, but like, that just that's just stupid. Jeez, super effect. What is it? Let me hit! If I lose this Terra Charge, I'm in real trouble. <laughs> Come on! That's so bad. God dang, this is frustrating. One more hit. Okay, my God. Oh my god. Alrighty. Absorb Trastal Energy yet again. Surely I can't keep doing that over and over though. Kiki, Michael's in trouble. You need to help him! But I can't. I can't help anyone. Kieran! Come on! Scream! And join me! To what? Okay, I'll help out too. Honestly, better late than never, I guess. The two of you need to clean this whole mess up. <laughs> I guess I'll just... Okay. That's fine. Yes. Wait, this is perfect. I will bring in dots. Kieran, your Hydrapple and my Hydrapple. WORKING TOGETHER! And I like how they're different! Okay, we can handle that. He's got red syrup, I got yellow syrup! Dragon cheer! Oh, he's doing the move! That works better on dragon types, right? Like, okay, I do have a critical hit boost. All right, terastalize. Come on, Dots! My shiny Hydrapple! We've been through so much together. Help me here! Yes! There's that crit, thank you! Now what? <gasps> it tried, but it didn't work! Looks like it can't absorb any more energy or put up another barrier! It's time to attack! This is so fun, look at us, our two hydrapples! I wanna try a fickle beam. Oh, not enough. Uh, I probably should have probably should have gone for the the grass one. I don't know fickle beam I was hoping it would do the all-out thing All right, let's finish this here Syrup bomb Golden shiny syrup to end the final battle
Incredible. Yeah, I'll go inside a ball now. I know I can count on you, Michael. You got this. What ball should I use? I like a premier ball. And just like that, I'm gonna have Terrapagos. And once I get some downtime, I am going to Cirabi. How does any of this stuff work? <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Is it over? Is everyone okay? We're fine, don't worry. My goodness, what a relief. Let my obsession lead you all into a very dangerous situation. Simply inexcusable. I'm so sorry, everyone. You should be. You're completely fixated on this terrestrial stuff. You gotta keep your obsessiveness on check. Yes, you're absolutely right. I I messed up too. I looked up to Michael for so long. I wanted to be like him so, so badly. I didn't know what else to do. I guess I just don't have it in me to be like him after all. Finally, finally I can let it go. You're really cool too, Kieran. That high Drapple team up was super sick. But I just... <laughs> oh! <laughs> I swear, I've got such a silly younger brother. Finally let it go. No! <laughs> oh, you two must have been so scared. But you all shone brilliantly just now. You were truly dazzling. In the end, our Michael even managed to catch Terrapagos. So I think we can consider our little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. Time to head back to the Academy. What? Where? Where are the Paradox Pokemon? Roaring Thunder? The Entei one? How? I thought that was gonna happen before this. Oh, finally home. Touch with Gita, no, scratch that. I need to public. I didn't catch it. Hey, Michael. Look, I, I know I caused a lot of trouble for the League Club and everyone. I wanted to give everybody a proper apology, including you, Michael. So I'm sorry. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I wanna make things right. Do you think we could start over from zero and be friends again? Hey, we're gonna leave you two behind if you don't hurry up. Hmm. I thought there was gonna be some toxic chain shenanigans with Kieran. I'm kind of surprised that there's not. Oh, well, those are the credits. <laughs> well, this is not over. This, this series is not over because uh, I need to find the paradox pokemon where are they i feel and i haven't interacted with any of the gym leaders like there i feel like there's still a lot to do so i'll see you next time don't worry about this this is not over